Endless battle fares like to the morning's war. When dying clouds contend with growing light, what time the shepherd, blowing of his nails, can neither call it perfect day nor night. Now sways it this way like a mighty sea, forced by the tide to combat with the wind. Now sways it that way like the self-same sea, forced to retire by fury of the wind. Sometime the flood prevails, and then the wind. Now one the better, then another best, both tugging to be victors, breast to breast. Yet neither conqueror, nor conquered. So is the equal of this fell war. Here on this mole hill will I sit me down. To whom God will, there be the victory. For Margaret, my queen, and Clifford too, have chid me from the battle, swearing both they prosper best of all when I am thence. <laughs> Would I were dead? If God's good, will it so? For what is in this world but grief and woe? Oh God, methinks it were a happy life to be no better than a homely swain, to sit upon a hill as I do now, to carve out dials quaintly, point by point, thereby to see the minutes how they run, how many make the hour full complete, how many hours bring about the day, how many days will finish up the year, how many years a mortal man may live. When this is known, then to divide the times. So many hours must I tend my flock, so many hours must I take my rest, so many hours must I contemplate. So many hours must I sport myself, so many days my ewes have been with young, so many weeks ere the poor fools will e'en, so many years ere I shall shear the fleece. So minutes, hours, days, months, and years passed over to the end they were created would bring white hairs unto a quiet grave. Oh, what a life for this. How sweet. How lovely. Gives not the hawthorn bush a sweeter shade to shepherds looking on their silly sheep. Then doth a rich embroidered canopy to kings that fear their subjects' treachery. Oh, yes, it doth. A thousandfold, it doth. <laughs>